Now, do you people that said, were you really in the Miss America pageant? I was. It was about 40 years ago. When I won that title, my mother called me over and she said, we know you're going to grow this year. Hopefully, not physically, not anymore, please. But you're going to mature. So we don't want this thing to mess you up. I've seen it go to people's heads and just ruin them. I said, Mama, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to be the same genie a year from now that I am right here today. But she forgot to talk to my daddy. And whereas I became genie swan of Miss North Carolina, he became Jim Swan, father of <laughs> Miss North Carolina. He was obnoxious. We would go places and people would say, are you Miss North Carolina? The height always gave it away. And before I could respond, he would lean in and say, I'm her father. You might want to talk to me about how we did this. <laughs> We went for a speaking appearance in Raleigh, and Mama was parking the car, and Daddy was helping me take the luggage upstairs. And we got on the elevator, and a group of people got on the elevator with us, and not a single person said, are you Miss North Carolina? And out of the corner of my eye, I could see it bothering him. He had wedged himself back here in the corner, and he was going from his left foot to his right foot looking around like, don't these people know who they're on the elevator with? They couldn't have cared less. We got to the sixth floor, and my own father, as though he had never lain eyes on me before in his life, <laughs> turned to me in front of all those people and said, say, aren't you Miss North Carolina? <laughs> Well, immediately what he wanted to happen, happened. They started saying, oh, you're the basketball player, the tall one, we know who you are. And I smiled, and I answered them through my teeth. But the whole time I was thinking, all right, Daddy, we're going to get up here to the 14th floor and get off carrying identical luggage. And they're going to say, there go two nuts from Graham, North Carolina. <laughs> but he had the ability to make a little humor as long as it didn't hurt anybody else. We got toward the 12th floor, and in another loud voice, he announced, this is where I get off, reached through and punched one of the buttons. Those elevator doors opened. He picked up one, just one of the suitcases, and went off that elevator and up the hall. But before he left, in front of all those people as those doors were closing, he looked me from head to toe. He said, I'll tell you one thing, honey. I bet you've got a good-looking daddy. 